on fashion travel. Uh, I first started my blog when I was traveling Europe and I had a friend tell me that I should start a blog just putting my photos online and it was basically just for people at home to be following what I'm doing and I started getting readers and hits and it turned into from a hobby into work. Uh, I had someone in Switzerland tell me that my name should be Chula as it's a Finnish word for wind and I go with the wind. <laughs> I really like Burke Street and Chapel Street, they're the main areas uh, that just have everything centrally located, but I am a big fan of Camberwell Markets, I am big on thrift and vintage shopping, so to find something cheap is really good. Uh, it would be the Zimmerman Sisters. Yeah. I find that Melbourne is the only city that you can get away with wearing a coat in Australia. Um, probably agree with Envy. I think it's on Little Collins Street, but that's a bit Uh, I think we just make everything in the fashion world more accessible. Um, I'm going to each of the uh, runway, Paris runway shows, and like last night I went to the Alex Perry show, which was really good. A uh, veggie bar on Brunswick Street. Lucas Pork Ball Cream. New York. <laughs> New York, New York. I think the first thing anyone visiting Melbourne should do is get on the free circle tram that just goes all around the city and you see everything for free. Uh, Melbourne. Um, I actually live on the Central Coast and I only live there because I travel a lot. So Central Coast is a home base, but if I was to move anywhere in Australia, it would definitely be Melbourne. Fashion. <laughs> fashion is, um, it is the fashion capital of Australia.